welcome to my easy statistics in this session we will be discussing about visual binning in SPSS visual binning is a process of creating new variables based on grouping continuous values of existing variables into a limited number of distinct categories We'll discuss this with the help of an example. I have a SPSS file where I'm showing the demography of employees. And I'm considering the age. The age variable is a continuous measurement, a scale measurement value. And uh, I want to convert this age of employees into different categories I want to have in my analysis people from 21 years to 60 years I want to divide them into four categories so 21 to 30 years as first category 31 to 40 second category 41 to 50 third category and 51 plus years as a fourth category so what I'm doing is visual binning that is I'm taking age which is a continuous data which is scale measurement and converting them into ordinal data with four categories Right. So this is what I'm doing. Visual binning is a process of creating a new variables based on grouping continuous values of existing variables into a limited number of distinct categories. So visual binning is useful in creating categorical variable from continuous scale variables or collapsing a large number of all categories into a smaller set of categories so in the example what I'm showing let me perform visual binning to do visual binning we we'll go for transform in transform visual binning in visual building I want to go with age so I select age and I'm saying continue and this the minimum age is 21 maximum age is 60 the total cases scanned is 301 there is no missing value in case a missing value is there in the case the system will not consider missing value it will treat after binned value also as missing only so I want to divide this continuous data which is ranging from 21 years to 60 years into four categories so I want to cut the data I am saying make cut points okay when I selected the button make cut points I have three ways which I can cut the points the first one is equal width interval second method is equal percentile based on scanned cases third cut points at the mean selected standard deviation based on scanned cases so the first one if we discuss equal width interval means total data will be divided into equal width as already said from 21 years is a minimum maximum is 60 so I am dividing them into equally four categories that is 21 to 30 30 to 40 41 to 50 and above 51 this is equal width 
so I can say this first cut point I want to have is 30 because the employee starts minimum age is 21 we are taking and number of cuts 3 system automatically decides so width is 10 so last cut point location is 50 if I say apply I can see I can show like this system will divide from 30 to 40 50 okay let me label it also so this is how we get less than 30 as one value 31 to 40 41 to 50 and 51 plus this is one method the other method I can use is equal percentile means I simply say how many groups I want categories three group categories four categories I can select for say three system will decide total scanned cases and divide them into a number of groups this is basing on percentile if I say cut point at the mean and select a standard deviation system we are going to select which is the standard deviation I want so this is what it's going to do so I'm going with a simple way that is equal with the intervals so here I already made that less than 30 31 to 40 41 to 50 and last one is 51 plus age groups okay once I say okay it will be converted into age bind so let me give a name for this I'll call this one is H bin into categories right I say okay system is giving binning speci specifications will create one variable okay see here if you can see the output window we got variable le level age bin is ordinal variable level age bin is converted into ordinal let me check it up yeah here we get age bin is a new variable which I have created and it is converted into different categories if I go to variable I can see age bin is divided into four categories of original measurement scale ordinal measurement scale okay so age is a continuous data which I have classified into ordinal data with the different levels so this is what we call binning thank you